Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me here. We're going to get straight into it. It's going to be a next 72 hour forecast from March 8th until the 10th. So if you are new, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a beat. And if you would like a personal session, check out the description box for that information. Oh, it's Taurus. March 8th. March 8th through the 10th. All right, so the overall energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Your current energy is the Eight of Swords. The challenge is the Strength card. Advice is the Seven of Swords. What you need to watch out for is the Knight of Wands, and the outcome is the Emperor. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. So the first thing I want to do is actually look at some angel messages that your angels may have for you. So let's see. What is the message from my Taurus spirit guides? What are the angel numbers? Okay, so cool. So let's actually talk about the angel numbers here. So the first number we have is zero. And this is like ground zero like you guys always hear people say ground zero so this is a starting point this is literally the energy of infinity but also like a fresh 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 start like this is before one okay we tap into that zero energy this is literally the absence of something so with this energy this this says new beginnings a fresh start being one with the universe a reminder that you're a creator of your own destiny which is very true this is a reminder that you're a creator of your own destiny because now you're, you know, starting from ground zero. Now you're able to create the existence that you would like to live. And then we also have five and five is the vibration of change. Um, you, you will see fives around when it's time for something to shift, when there's going to be some sort of drastic change here. Um, this says huge changes are ahead. Trust that the transition is in your highest good. Prepare for your massive shifts. Things are getting exciting. So, yeah, you guys got a zero and a five. So new beginnings and huge changes. So this is deep. Now, looking deeper into this, um, when it comes to just the overall energy, we do have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So. This is you like no longer allowing yourself to put effort or energy into something like upright. This is the energy of you working slowly to build something or even rebuild. Um, and this is like taking your time, not rushing into things as you're taking your time, you're noticing things and you're picking up on things and you're knowing how to better maneuver. But with it being in reverse, this is like you deciding to remove your energy from something. Um, you may have felt like just as you were continuing to build with someone or in a situation, you just may have not felt like you guys were just connecting or something was just off. Um, some of you are just also tired of trying to rebuild a connection with someone where it feels like things are just not getting better or like it's not going anywhere at all. Like this person may not even want to commit necessarily. Okay. Clarifying this, I do have the king of wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign specifically where there's this disconnect. It really doesn't have to be. Um, but yeah, some of you also could be like slightly wanting to give up on some creative stuff that you're into. And this is you needing to, you know, maybe slow down on that part. <laughs> Now, when it comes to your current energy, and actually, no, before I get to this current energy, also with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, if you were struggling at one point, this is like no more financial struggle. Like this is no money moving slow. This is like quick money, money flowing in. Okay. Or at least you guys trying to get out of that energy. Now, 
Um, the current space that you may be in, we do have the Eight of Swords. So this is mentally feeling victimized to a certain circumstance. This is like literally feeling like you have no control over what's going on around you when it comes to, you know, your love life or um, sometimes even your finances. Uh, you could also be feeling like mentally you just don't know which way to turn or that literally your hands are tied. Okay, clear, clarifying this, I do have the Page of Cups. So yeah, this is you feeling like you don't know what to do because you're dealing with somebody who you care about, but they may be emotionally immature at times. They don't really know how to quite handle situations the correct way. Um, and this could be like throwing you for a loop. And for others of you, you just want to get back with someone. You just want to get back with someone. Now, the challenge with the strength card may be a Leo specifically, <laughs> But um, for others of you, it's not a Leo specifically. It can be really anyone. But this is somebody who has like temper issues. Like as you can see, there's this lion and then there's a lady trying to calm the lion down from roaring. So this person may have a temper issue, whoever you guys are like romantically interested in. Or like whenever they get mad, they get extremely mad. And you have to like go out of your way to calm this person down. Um, this person also may have a very blunt way of speaking um and this may sometimes cause you guys to get into arguments and you have to end up being the bigger person and this could be a problem for you for others of you the challenge being the strength card may be you guys keeping that same momentum or determination or like inner strength there may be a little bit of a challenge there in terms of you staying strong and motivated and all those things And this is also stubbornness in a sense as well. Now, when it comes to what I see for the advice, we have the seven of swords. Um, so the advice here is if you're dealing with anybody who has cheated on you and you have never quite gotten over that, you need to be honest with yourself about whether or not you can let go of that. If you know deep down you can't, don't put yourself through torture. Don't even, you know, put yourself through all the the headaches of trying if you know you can't do it because all this is going to do is just drain you and and throw you for a loop okay also this is avoiding this is avoiding anybody who doesn't really have the the best intentions for you and also making sure if you are avoiding handling certain responsibilities that you're also taking care of those whether that's like financial Or even clearing some things up with like um, a family member or something. This is like no longer avoiding certain conversations or certain things. Now, what you need to watch out for, we do have the Knight of Wands. So this is a fickle fire sign. It just keeps talking about fire signs. I don't know why. So if fire signs, if you're watching this, you're cross watching. I'm not singling you out. You guys see the cards, okay? Um, but yeah, this is making sure that you're avoiding like a fire sign who's very fickle. One second, they're interested in you. They want to deal with you, you know, even want to sleep with you. Then other moments, they don't want to deal with you at all. And they're just very elusive. This is also avoiding the energy of you, you know, having this push to go, 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 and then getting burnt out. So be careful of burnout. Make sure you're like having a healthy dose of like productive productivity yeah a healthy dose of productivity <laughs> or getting things done and also um flings avoid flings like connections where it's just sexually sexually based now when it comes to the outcome i do have the emperor and sorry if you guys hear that weird noise um they're mowing it's early in the morning OK, but um, with the emperor being the outcome, this is you guys taking your power back. This is you guys also taking this stance of not really allowing little things to bother you anymore. If anything, this is you guys really getting stuff under control in your life um, financially. This is like getting rid of things that aren't, you know, really working well with you and just basically restructuring your life in a way where you can finally relax 
and play it cool. There also may be an Aries of significance or like um, the father of your child, mother of your child, or for some of you, like your parent, something about a parent. Some of you also may be getting promoted like um, to manager at your job or assistant manager. But OK, um, so moving forward, we do have it's up to you. And with this card, this is a reminder that literally it's up to you. Like you have a level of free will, regardless of what any reading says, even personal readings that you get, you still have free will. OK, and how you live your life is up to you. Who you love is up to you, all those things. So understand that also <laughs> with it being up to you, also understand that with whatever manifests, it's also going to be your fault as well <laughs> with certain things that you manifest. Because again, it's up to you. If you allow yourself to deal with somebody who may not be the best for you, then of course you have to be okay with the consequences that come with it as well. But ultimately it's still up to you, okay? <laughs> Um, we also have choose a new direction. So this is not saying like change your job or anything of that nature. There just may be a new sense of direction you guys need to be taking. So this is like maybe shifting the way that you're going about things. Yeah, maybe shifting the way that you're going about things. Also understanding your own power and how you can influence or not even influence how you can bring certain things into reality. And this is just being very aware of what you're choosing to give energy to and what you're choosing to do as of right now and how that may be affecting your direction or your sense of direction. But yeah. And then for some of you, when it comes to you being tired of your career, um, you need to be clear on exactly what you're trying to do next. Um, the worst thing you can do is like try to leave one career and then not have an idea of what you're going to do if you were to leave it. So this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective for you. Um, if you did enjoy thumbs this video up and subscribe and check out the description if you would like a personal and I'll see you later.